Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, and Southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. And they serve the entire New York, New Jersey, tri state area. And guess what? They're getting ready for winter, Long Island's largest rock salt source. So if you need it or any uh, winter snow and ice melt products and equipment, head there. 631-756-1125. The best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. This is the first of two weather systems that we're going to be dealing with in the next five to six days. And uh, this one uh, looks somewhat impressive here as far as what's going on. Uh, on the uh, satellite, uh, you see that big swirl, strong upper air shortwave trough that is driving all this. Gulf moisture uh, pulling in to the Gulf states where we've got some showers and some thunderstorms running around. And that area is moving east. Meanwhile, it's been a great day in the eastern part of the U.S. for the most part uh, with uh, sunshine from Maine down into the Carolinas. Although now we're starting to see these high clouds ahead of this storm system beginning to sweep in. And uh, the radar is actually uh, rather impressive at the moment with that short wave rotating back in parts of Oklahoma and into West Texas. Uh, and we can see some heavier downpours and a couple of severe weather warnings that have gone up at uh, 545 uh, p.m. Eastern time in parts of southeastern Louisiana. This area is going to be moving on uh, east and northeast, and that means that we're going to see rain moving into the mid-Atlantic and points north. We're also moving up into parts in the Ohio Valley and over to the uh, Great Lakes as low pressure heads uh, northeastward. Uh, as far as uh, rainfall is concerned from this, this is a relatively uh, fast-moving weather system. And uh, the uh, WPC folks uh, showing that at least through the daytime on uh, Sunday, uh, we are going to see anywhere from a half to maybe as much as three quarters of an inch. Uh, kind of cuts off a little bit in southern New England. And that's because uh, there's still some extra precip uh, after 8 o'clock in parts of southeastern New England and points northward and even in parts of southern New England to go on top of this. So I think this is a pretty fair bet to say that a half to three quarters of an inch uh, is a, a pretty good bet here for New England down into the mid-Atlantic, and you can see it trailing down the Appalachians uh, into uh, southern Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Also across the Ohio Valley from Ohio and Indiana and into the middle Mississippi Valley back over into Missouri. There's not really any cold air to speak of here, so we're talking about pretty much a rain event for just about everyone, even up in northern New England. The uh, snowfall uh, forecast for the next 72 hours uh, isn't anything at all in the east to write home about. Uh, a probability that there could be a couple of inches, maybe a 40 to 50 percent chance in northern Maine. It's in the northern plains, uh, the central and northern Rockies, where we have a rather high probability of uh, almost 100 percent in some areas of uh, two inches or more. And uh, in terms of overall size, we even have some pockets where there's some higher probabilities of at least eight inches showing up. Uh, in uh, western Colorado, northwestern Colorado, southeastern Wyoming, as well as northwestern uh, Wyoming. So with regards to this first system, I think it's going to play through pretty much according to plan. Uh, here is the uh, last run of the GFS we have, and you can see low pressure running up to the northeast. Uh, this is tomorrow morning, rain into south central and southwest PA. Uh, across uh, Ohio and Indiana, back to a low in uh, southern Illinois. Uh, heavier rains and some thunderstorms uh, southward uh, into uh, the Carolinas and in eastern Georgia. Uh, that rain comes in uh, during the uh, morning hours and early afternoon. And uh, there still could be some lingering rains tomorrow evening. The sooner it gets in, the faster it gets out. This is a six to eight hour event, so it's going to be fast. That low moves northeast. We'll see improving weather conditions for Monday and Tuesday, but then a stronger low is going to be heading for the Great Lakes, and it really doesn't strengthen until it gets up uh, into Canada. So we have another cold front coming on Wednesday with some showers and maybe even a rumble or two of thunder, but was, what's more impressive here is Wednesday night, uh, the gradient is going to get exceptionally tight ahead of the cold front, uh, which is... 
uh, a lead front that comes through, but the real cold front is back out uh, to the west. And uh, the gradient's going to tighten up. So I think we have a, a pretty good shot here of seeing gusty south to southwest winds of 40 miles an hour or more from, the nor- from say, northeastern Virginia up into, uh, uh, into New England and into upstate New York. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a, a bit of a powerhouse front going by. And then after that, we're going to have uh, some strong gusty winds and a quick shot of cold air that comes in for the end of next week before things calm down again going into next weekend. And as far as temperatures are concerned, uh, we're probably going to see temperatures tomorrow get up to about uh, mid-50s to around or even over 60 in some places. We'll be back in the 50s on Monday and probably not out of the 40s on Tuesday. And then we're going to go back up again, probably again 50s to maybe even into the 60s on Wednesday before we get much colder. And it's that second shot of cold air with that system later this week that's that's a bit more important than what we're going to see on Monday and Tuesday. I think we could have a, a, at least a day uh, where temperatures are really struggling just to uh, maybe get just into the 40s uh, in some cases, which for this time of year is still pretty cold. Uh, weather in five brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125 for the best prices anywhere. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So we'll be uh, watching these two weather systems in the coming days. The Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back tomorrow. We've been off for four days for Thanksgiving. So we will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on my YouTube channel. So we hope to see you then.